everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fangirl, here to review episode 19 of Bungo Stray Dogs. Wow. So that's why the whole grape thing I've been hearing about. Okay, um, I, I, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen so that I can enjoy grapes for the rest of my life. That did not happen. What about grapes? What, what did, I saw nothing. Anyway, um, we got introduced to some new ability users. Um, I remember one of their names uh, was Lovecraft. I don't know about the grape dude, what his name was. I mean, what grapes? <laughs> what? Uh, there's no grapes involved. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's new ability users, but uh, the creepiest one of them all is Q, this little boy with a circle and a star in his eyes and I'm like uh how do you see you don't have a pupil what the heck dude um and Q is very creepy because he can use mind control uh yeah <laughs> and he has this creepy doll and the oh god it was just so creepy I'm like what ah I'm gonna have nightmares photos of this like what the heck um but yeah Lots of things happened in this episode, you know, we got to find out about those two dudes, the one with the tentacles, uh, and the, the other thing that I'm not going to say, because I want to continue eating that type of food, because they're good, and that did not happen. Oh gosh, but anyway, Dazai had some great moments in this episode, especially when he said he was going to rip his, the Q's heart out, and I was like, Dazai, chill, oh my gosh, um, wow. Also, we found out that that one girl or dude that you know everyone was like oh that's a dude uh gin or whatever gin gin whatever is actually a girl i already knew that because i looked it up because i had to know i'm like it sounds like a girl but it kind of looks like a dude i need to know um and it is a girl and it was funny because the blonde girl who likes Atagawa uh didn't know she's like wait what <laughs> God, it was so funny. Oh, man. Um, also, Dazai was offered to go back to the Port Mafia. <laughs> I was like, that ain't happening. Um, yeah, so, Muddy, uh, like, invited him back. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Not in a million years. And he also met up with Ango, which was really interesting, and, uh, I'll talk about that in a minute, but, uh, Atsushi got mind controlled by Q, and, of course, Dazai was there to, you know, get that situation under control and everything, but, like, it had you believing that the two girls, Haruno and Naomi, were, you know, being mind-controlled, but it was reversed. It was actually Atsushi was being mind-controlled. So, yeah, that was creepy. Uh, they were bleeding from their eyes. I'm like, my gosh. Um, <laughs> wow. But, um, so, now I met up with Ango, and, yeah, they, they, yeah, they had a conversation. And, um, when Ango stopped the car... It crashed into their car, so is Ango okay? But more importantly, is Dazai okay? <laughs> like, more importantly, is he okay? I mean, I'm sure he's fine, but it's kind of, like, scary to think that he might not be fine. But I'm sure he's fine, because th the other car hit Ango's side, so Ango could... I don't know. I'd, that'd be kind of... that kind of suck, because it'd be like, they just met, and then... But, um, I don't know. I don't know with that, because it, it didn't tell me. Death. After that, Atsushi, um, met up with that one blonde dude that I think his name is Francis. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it is. And, you know, they had a little battle and everything. And then Kyoka showed up, and I'm like, hey, there she is, and she's fine. Good. And, um... Oh boy, it's gonna be interesting what she's probably gonna beat the heck out of that dude for um, beating up Atsushi because, you know, ship. <laughs> but I'm interested to see what she's gonna do. Um, oh man, though, what's she gonna do? But I swear, if Dazai and this Q kid ever meet up, he's going to rip his heart out. I was like, dang, Dazai, chill. I still can't get over that because that was just a great line by Dazai. I was just like, I'm gonna rip your heart out. I'm like, Dang. Oh. And I want to know what their history is together. Like, why does Dazai not like this little kid so much? You know, Q. Like, I heard things. Everybody was like, oh, Q. And I'm like, okay. But, yeah. So, that's all I got to say about this episode. What did you guys think of this episode of uh, Bingo Shea Dogs? Also, it felt a little jumpy. Just a bit. Like, it felt a little rush jumpy. Just, just a little bit. But, anyway, I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye.